Hi, this is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. And today, I'm not wallpaper. I'm repairing a mural. So on the first video, that's probably right above this on YouTube, we did all of the repairs and I showed you just one of them, but I did all the same thing that I showed you in the last one. Now, here's, watch this. Do you hear that? Let me bring you up close. And I'll tell you what's going on. But you'll know right away. Look at this. You see that paper moving? Look. Look at the movement in this paper. Let me tell you something. The guy who installed it missed this whole area. The whole area is either, one, not primed, two, not glued, or both. There's nothing there. It's completely loose. So how do you fix it? Well, you need a syringe. Now, there is another way to do it. You could open it up with a, with a uh, razor. But since it needs so much glue, what I decided to do was take a product. This is the product. But if you don't have this, you can use Elmer's glue. But don't tell anyone I told you that. But this is the product that I'm using. It looks just like the thing I just said, but it's not. This is border adhesive. Now, the stuff that I used initially, this is only effective when it's not diluted. If you dilute this, I wouldn't trust it. So here it goes. Now, because we left it somewhat thick, I'm going to avoid using this part of the syringe. I'll open, I'll open the wallpaper up with this, but I gotta take it off because I have to put a lot of glue in this area because it's literally completely devoid of anything adhering the paper to the wall. And so if you arrive, where would you go? In the middle or on the bottom or on the top? Well, you would go on the top so that you could disperse the glue easier and gravity's gonna pull it down and you could work around it. If you start on the bottom, it's gonna be very hard to push that glue upward. So you wanna identify your loose spot. Let me bring you closer. Okay, so we're talking about an area that spans about 20 inches. And I'm going to say about 15 left to right. So now, I'm at the top. And you want to go in a dark area. See, I'm going to penetrate the dark area. Why is that? Because you're not going to see that. Now, don't be afraid to penetrate it because you need to open up the wallpaper. I'm going to take that end and just pour this glue in. And you want to lift it off the wall so that the glue goes in even though it's going to roll off the wall. Okay, let's see what we've done. There's our penetration. We got about half hour glue in there, okay? So now, Oh, I got a good amount in there. Why am I doing it with my hands? My hands are not gonna take the color off of the, off of the wall covering. If you use a rag, you have a lot of traction on the fabric and something for the color to grab onto and you can pull it off. So use your hands.
I'm feeling the glue. It's a lot of glue. It's gotten into the area pretty well. What you're really doing here is you're, you're gluing down a very dusty surface because this was fresh plaster or fresh joint compound and then they sanded it. My suspicion is that they didn't sweep the wall off and get the dust off. So what we're really doing is gluing the dust, which is fine. You can simply make the dust a solid by just gluing it to the back of the paper, gluing it to the wall, and the glue will hold it all together. Not ideal, but this is the way we got to operate now. Okay, so the paper's acting appropriately, it's wrinkling up. That means it's absorbing the glue. And so it's wrinkled and we'll get those wrinkles out. But what I'm doing is I'm attaching the dust that's underneath the wall covering to the wallpaper and to the wall. And that's that. And we'll come back to that. Now we have to penetrate it again because it's a very large area. the glue again. To show you what this stuff looks like. Of course, I can't hold it with one hand. Just want to show you how thick this stuff is. It's not, it's just like Elmer's glue. Just watch this. Okay, so you see that, right? Now. All right, very nice. Okay, so I want to identify a loose spot. See, see all the movement in that? I mean, you can see the, you can see that. That's, I did not install this thing. Okay, we want to choose a dark spot again. And by the way, when you penetrate the paper, you want to go from the top down. Because the hole that you're going to make is not visible the way, if you do it like that. If you go from the bottom up, you'll see it. I got my paper lifted off. I'm in there. Let me just show you. Okay. So I'm just going to fill it with glue. Okay. So now we put a lot of glue in there. And so gravity is going to bring that down. We're going to move that around. We have a nice bit of glue in there. So when you have that much of a lift off of the um, wall, when you push it back down, you can imagine it'll go down, but then there's going to be a fringe, right? Or an edge where there's a wrinkle. So you have to work that wrinkle out. 
it becomes a little bit of a complicated thing. But if you, if you think about putting a, a very large um, bed sheet over a bed, if you push it flat down, it flattens out. But the edges, right, what do you do with them? You gotta flatten them out and kind of move that wrinkle toward the middle and disperse it. That's all we're doing here. Within 12 hours, somebody will write on one of these videos, I would do it like this. That's fine. And I want you to tell me that. As long as you respect that this is the way I do it. Which is cool. Okay, so, so I'm feeling my glue. I'm making sure that I don't make it too fat. And so I have my work to do because this thing was really lifted, really lifted. Um, but that is the last repair on this wall covering. And don't be afraid to put in too much glue in there. You can always push it out, but you'd have to direct it right back to the hole. What you want to do is saturate the paper. You want to make sure that the, the paper gets wet, okay? Bottom line is these things can be a nightmare if they're not done properly. Okay. So. Somebody from the, U uh, the uh, UK had a question for me. It was a very interesting question. She was doing a concave wall or a convex, I don't know which one, and she had missed a, a void in the wall. And so she said, hey, what do you think I should do? So we, she, she's, she said, I, I did this, it didn't work. So I suggested that if she couldn't take the wall covering off, that she simply inject uh, liquid plaster, liquid uh, hot mud in there. I mean, you gotta work really, it's, it's a last resort before you just have to take the wallpaper down and consider it a failure. You do the same thing, you open it up and you, you put in liquid uh, plaster, but then you stay there with an object that's, that's hard that keeps the wall covering flush with the rest of the wall so it doesn't form a belly. And you gotta press on it and you wait the five minutes until it hardens up. You may get a dark mark on the wall covering, but it's certainly a way to avoid that she had a very deep uh, dent in the wall that she had missed on her her radius wall. It wasn't, a, and a, it was just a radial curve in the wall. Okay, so I just want to show you. Uh, I'm almost done here. I have to work out these wrinkles, but you can see that I have dispersed that glue pretty nicely, pushing these wrinkles away, pulling them down getting them away from the area. And look at how nice they're laying down. Okay, just gonna keep working them out. We see any air pockets. You gotta work quick though, you can't wait because once your wallpaper gets stuck, you can't get around and then it forms an air pocket. So you have to work quickly with this stuff. That's how we do it. This is Spencer Colgan from Spencer Colgan is Wallpaper. Please click on like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.